Do you like my robot? Hi, Sarah. Wow. Show us, Sarah, please. Okay. You use the remote control. It goes forwards, backwards, and it can even pick up a stick. Bye. Gotta go. I wish I had a robot. Mm. Look at me. I'm a robot. Caillou thought playing robot was a good game to play. But something was missing. Hey, Leo! You need a remote control. Okay, robot. Go fast. Stop. Turn. No, this way. Slow. Fast. <laughs> it's my turn. Go, robot, go! That way! Oh, hello! What game are you two boys playing now? I'm a robot! Oh, I see. Hmm, what if I gave you a robot disguise? Thanks, Mommy! Can I have that pot, Rosie? Robot, but I want to be the robot too. Caillou and Leo were upset because both wanted to be the robot. But who would use the remote control? Oh, there's two little robots in the house now. Who's got the remote control then? May I have it, please? I wonder what all these buttons do. This one says jump. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, well, I have to go and cook dinner now. Thanks, little robots. Let's see if it works on Mommy Robots. Mommy Robot, Mommy Robot. Mommy Robot, get me a snack. Um, please? <laughs> <laughs> what does this button do? Wow! wow. You two boys are robots again. Oh, no. The remote doesn't seem to be working. I wonder what happens to the robots if the batteries go dead. The robots stop? That's right. They go slower and freeze right where they are. Oh, what will we do now? Hmm, I'll have to push the restart button right here. Mmm, I mean... Yum, yum. That's me. I'm Caillou. I'm four years old, and there's lots I can do. I can make things with my daddy. I know how to make my teddy bear all better. I even read stories to my grandma. But what I'm best at is having fun. Caillou's Water Park. Hi, Mr. Mailman. Hi, Caillou. I'm the new mailman. Neato! Daddy, I'm the new mailman. You are? Good job. Daddy, what's this? It's a brochure for a water park. It's like the swimming pool, only bigger. Can we go? Please, please. Sorry, kids, but it's too far away. Tell you what, though, you can deliver this letter to Mommy. Okay. Caillou was sad he couldn't go to the water park. Mommy, look what we got in the mail. Wow. Looks like they've got lots of neat stuff there. Can we go? Can we please? Hmm, not today. We'd have to plan a special trip. But it sure is hot. Why don't we have our own water park? Our own water park? Let's see what they've got. Oh, look, a picture of a rainbow. 
<laughs> We've got one of those. See? Caillou was amazed that Mommy had made a rainbow, just like in the picture. How'd you do that, Mommy? <laughs> it wasn't hard. <laughs> and making our own water park wouldn't be hard either. Want to give it a try? <laughs> okay. You have to keep your eyes closed. Okay, I've got them closed. Me too. Okay, you can open your eyes. We're here. Where are we? We're at Caillou's Rainbow Water Park. See? Wow, look, Rosie. A rainbow. Rainbow. Before you come in, you have to pay. Okay, here you go. And as our first customers, you win a prize. What prize do they get? <laughs> you get sprayed with water. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, go spray Daddy. Rosie, do it. <laughs> okay, I think that's a big enough prize for Daddy. Time for the water game. Yeah. You have to get the ball past the tree with this. Rosie, too. It's your turn, Rosie. Stand near the ball. Hold tight. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yay! My turn, Daddy, my turn. <laughs> you did it. I think you should get a prize. What do I get? What do I get? You get sprayed <laughs> with water. Caillou liked how he and Mummy had built their very own water park. Gone fishing. Time to get up, Caillou. We don't want to keep the fish waiting. Caillou was getting up extra early because he was going on a fishing trip Hello. with Daddy and Grandpa. Uh -huh. I'm going to catch lots of fish. I hope so, but sometimes even a good fisherman only catches one. A really big one. <laughs> we don't need lunch, Mommy. I'm going to catch a fish this big. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want any? It's peanut butter and grape jelly. Yum. Okay. Grandpa! Hi, Caillou. Hi, Grandpa. <laughs> Your hat is funny. I always catch fish when I wear this hat. That's why it's my lucky fishing hat. I hope you have better luck than last time. You didn't catch anything for dinner. You didn't catch anything? Anything? Even if we don't catch any fish, we'll still have lots of fun. Right, Caillou? Caillou was surprised they needed so many things to catch a fish. It's as tall as me, Daddy. Yep, it's the perfect Caillou size. Here's your own lucky hat, Caillou. Now Caillou felt like a real fisherman. Caillou noticed that the feathers on the wall looked like the ones on Grandpa's hat. See, Caillou? These are lures, and these are flies. They're for attracting fish, so we can catch them. I've got the bait. Worms? Fish love worms. It's like peanut butter and jelly to them. <laughs> They're going fishing, too. Caillou thought that the fishermen could catch lots of fish with such a big boat. A fish! A fish! Come back, fish! <laughs> you won't catch fish that way, Caillou. We have to use our fishing rods. Oh. When are the fish coming? Shh, Caillou. You don't want to scare them off. If you're quiet, I'll bet you can hear all kinds of sounds. 
The more he listened, the more sounds Caillou could hear. Birds! That's right, they're seagulls. Can you hear anything else? A dragonfly! Look! That man caught a fish! It was very small, so he let it go. That way, it can grow into a big fish. A little later, Caillou was getting frustrated because he still hadn't caught anything. Aww. Where are the fish? You have to be patient when you go fishing, Caillou. Sometimes you have to wait. See? Look how patient Grandpa is. He's a master fisherman. <laughs> Let's have some lunch. Then we'll go for a walk. It's the boat we saw before. It's coming closer. That's right. They're bringing in the catch of the day. Why we couldn't find any. <laughs> Maybe. Pee It smells. Those seagulls like the smell. He took one. From here, it goes to the store where people buy it and, mmm, cook it for dinner. Caillou wanted to catch a fish and bring it home for dinner, too. Let's fish some more, Daddy. Hi there. Still no luck. I'm just about ready to give up for today. Just a little longer, please. Okay, Caillou. Caillou concentrated really hard on staying still. Suddenly he felt a tug on the end of the line. Daddy! Daddy! A fish! Okay, Caillou, let's try to reel it in. Oh boy, look at that! Aww! Caillou was disappointed that the fish got away. Well, it was a pretty small one. We can come back and try to catch it when it's bigger. Caillou decided he had fun fishing, even if he didn't catch anything. Hmm, all that fresh air made me hungry. I can't wait for dinner. But we didn't catch any fish for Mommy. I have an idea. We'll make a little stop on the way home. <laughs> Hello! Hi, sweetie. It's for you, Mommy. Wow, what a big fish. We caught it at the store. <laughs> hey, don't give away our fishing secrets. Oops, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Water goes round. Eh, all right, we need some more cars over here. Okay. Vroom! Grandma, can you come play with me? Sure. But first, how about if you play with me? We can wash these clothes together. That's not a game. It is when I play it. First off, I need a big truck to move this laundry. Me? can be a big truck. Okay, Mr. Truck. I need that bag of laundry pushed down the stairs. Oh, ah. Beep, beep, beep. Vroom. Good work, Mr. Truck. Vroom! <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on. Now, I need all the colored clothes over there. Ready? I spy with my little eye something that is purple. I see it. Caillou liked Grandma's washing the clothes game. Now, somehow, we've got to get this soap moved into the washing machine. I want to do it. Now push the button to get it started. Beep! What game should we play now? I like this game, Grandma. Me too. But we have to wait while the clothes take their bubble bath. Caillou thought it was funny that the clothes were taking a bath just like he did in the tub. I win! You're a good player, Caillou. You know what? I think the washer should have stopped by now. Let's go see. Calling Mr. Truck. I need help to move the clothes from the washer to the dryer. Mr. Truck here. All done. Close dryer door, please, Mr. Truck. Push the button. Now the buzzer will go off when the clothes are dry. We need to listen for it. Mm. Oops. Grandma, the buzzer! Look at me, Grandma. <laughs> I'm wearing Grandpa's shirt. Here, Caillou. You remember how to fold, don't you? Good job. Caillou was proud he could fold like Grandma. Now, where's the other red sock? Top to toe, and over I go, into a ball, just like so. Top to toe, and over I go, then into a ball, just like so. Mommy, I helped Grandma wash the clothes. Wow. Can I wash clothes with you at our house, Mommy? Sure. And I think we'll start with that messy shirt. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou's test drive. Vroom, vroom. Beep, beep. The car needs to get by, Daddy. Okay. Caillou thought the car sounded like it had a terrible cold. Is our car broken, Daddy? I think maybe it's time to take it to the garage for some repairs. Actually, how about we all go take a look at some new cars today? Wow! Caillou had never seen so many shiny new cars before. I like the red one. Nice choice, young man. We're just looking around. Maybe you can give us a little tour. Why, certainly. Follow me. What kind of car are you looking for? One that's not broken. <laughs> Door open. Caillou was Door surprised open. that a car could talk. Door open. Open. Door open. Door open. <laughs> Door open. Hmm, I open. think you two make enough noise Door on car open. rides as it is. Door Can we open. look at that one? Sure, come on. I'll show you. like a house in there. It's just the right size for you, Caillou. Caillou thought it would be fun to live in a house on wheels. Caillou was having a great time looking at all the different kinds of cars. Where's the roof? It's called a convertible, Caillou. The roof comes off. How about I take us for a test drive? Rain. Good question. Watch what happens when I press this button. Wow! Want to see my car? Wow! Nice set of wheels. 
Here's a price list. Just let me know if you're interested. Nice meeting you all. Wow, new cars sure are a lot of money. Can we get the car with no roof, Mommy? Maybe next year, Caillou. I'll bet our car can be fixed up so it's almost as good as new. I'll call our mechanic. Caillou was happy when he saw the car coming home from the garage. Yay! We got our car back! Yep, it's all fixed now. Oh. What's the matter, Caillou? Now my car is broken. Hmm, looks like it's time for another repair. Thanks, Daddy. A very good swimmer. Look, Daddy, I'm a fish. <laughs> a very big fish. The water's just right. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Mommy, see! <laughs> There's too many people. I don't have enough room to swim. I think Caillou's right. Who'd like to go to the public pool? Rosie! We'll see you in a little while, Caillou. Here, you drop this. Thank you. Caillou had never seen a wheelchair up close before. Mommy, is that a big wagon? No, Caillou, it's called a wheelchair. That girl sits in it because she can't walk like you and me. Shall we go swimming now? Yes! <laughs> Caillou saw the girl swimming underwater. He wanted to try it for himself. <coughs> Mommy, the water gets in my nose. Oh, it's all right, Caillou. There's no harm done. Hi, my name's Tammy. I'm Caillou. <laughs> you swim like a fish. <gasps> That's right, I do. Do you know how to swim underwater? No, it makes my nose itch. Do you ever put your face in the water and blow bubbles? Yes, I can do that. Watch me. That's great, Caillou. You stay there and watch what I could do. Now it's my turn. You're a good swimmer, Caillou. Look at me! Here, swim towards me. It wasn't so easy after all. But Caillou was determined to do it. Did you see, Mommy? I can do it! I knew you could do it, Caillou. Oh, I'm very proud of you. You did it! Now we both swim like fish. <laughs> I have to leave, Caillou. Bye! Did you see me, Daddy? I can swim under the water now. I sure did, Caillou. Swimming like the big kids. I had a lot of fun today. Are you coming back tomorrow? Sure, I'll be back. Here, I want you to have this. Thank you. It'll help you swim underwater. I'll see you around, okay? Tammy seems like a very nice young girl. And a very good swimmer. Uh-huh. And I'm going to practice to be as good as she is. Mommy is great. She takes me to fun places like the beach. Mommy says it's fun to try new things. <laughs> she likes it when I draw her pictures. It's beautiful, Caillou. Thank you. And I like it when she tucks me in at night. <laughs> Getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. 
when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go. We're giving my old toys to the community center. Oh. Caillou was disappointed. He still wanted to play the horn. Caillou! Mom says you can keep it if you like. Thanks! Bye-bye. <laughs> Caillou loved making loud, funny music with the horn. Look at what Sarah gave me! <laughs> Caillou, could I see it, please? It's a nice horn, but this is lunchtime. You can play with it later. <laughs> Besides, it would be hard to eat and play at the same time. Caillou couldn't wait to play again. Now is not the time for this. I'll put it here while you finish eating. I'm finished! Caillou! <laughs> gotcha! You're staying with me! Whee! I can make music too! Rosie, do you want to come too? Can I bring the horn? Hmm, I'm afraid it wouldn't be the right place for it. No. All right then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Have fun. Caillou felt it was unfair. It never seemed to be the right time or the right place to play the horn. The dog doesn't seem to like that sound very much. You know what? I know the perfect place where we can go. And I can bring the horn? You sure can. Wonder where Caillou can be. <laughs> Caillou? Whoa! <laughs> Hold it, Caillou. Why don't you hand me the horn? I'll give it back to you when you're on top. Sarah! I don't think she heard you. Just then, Caillou had a great idea. This time, Caillou had played the horn in the right place at the perfect time. <laughs> hey, what's that over there? <laughs> the Mighty Oak. wondered where the sound came from. It sounded like a giant bee. Daddy, look! Mr. Hinkle is cutting down that old tree. Want to give him a hand? Yes. Wow! Why is that man cutting down your tree, Mr. Hinkle? The tree is too sick. It had to be cut down. Trees can get sick? Sure. See how easily this breaks? Uh-huh. Mr. Hinkle's tree has become weak. I didn't want the tree to fall down by itself. Someone could get hurt. Oh. Maybe we should have the man look at our tree, huh, Caillou? Okay. The tree is healthy enough. 
I just need to cut off this one branch. Caillou was afraid the tree he liked to swing from was going to be cut down. Is our tree sick, Daddy? I don't know, Caillou. Cutting off a dead branch from a healthy tree doesn't hurt it. It's just like when you get your toenails cut. Toenails? <laughs> don't worry. This tree is very healthy. It's fine. Yay! My swing tree is never going to be sick. Right, Daddy? I hope not. We'll have to take very good care of it, won't we? Uh-huh. Hmm. How about we plant a new tree to keep it company? Okay. Caillou thought that planting a new tree was a good idea. Are you going to plant a new tree too, Mr. Hinkle? You know what? That's a good idea, Caillou. Hello? And who are you? I'm Caillou. We want a new tree. Mr. Hinkle wants one too. Well, you've come to the right place, Caillou. Caillou saw lots of flowers, but he didn't see any trees. Where are the trees? Right over there. Those aren't trees. Those are plants. Actually, they're baby trees, but someday they'll grow into big trees. Hmm. The baby tree intrigued Caillou. It's soft. Just like Rosie's blanket. Rosie's my baby sister. Well, this little tree is going to grow just like your Rosie, then. Is this what it's going to look like when it grows up? Yes. Does this tree look familiar? Maybe you've seen one in your house before? It's a Christmas tree! I want this one, Daddy, so we can have a Christmas tree all the time. <laughs> well, that means we've got to decorate it. And you'll have to buy gifts for everyone all the time. No, I won't. These two trees are different from each other. Touch them and see if you can tell what the difference is. Caillou could feel the difference. This one is prickly, and this one has smooth leaves like our tree. Daddy, can we get this one? Okay. And I'd like this one, please. And since all of this was your idea, Caillou, you can come and visit my Christmas tree whenever you want. You keep this. That way you can see how well your tree is growing. What's that, Daddy? That's food for the tree. It looks funny. Are you going to feed the tree dinner and breakfast, too? <laughs> nope. After this, all it needs is rain and sunshine. <laughs> My turn, Daddy. Okay. Caillou was surprised at how many things had to be done to plant a new tree. There, we're all done. You're a good tree planter, Caillou. Caillou, Caillou! Hi, Rosie. Look at the new baby Ooh. tree. It looks like we're gonna get a storm. Let's get inside. Dinner's ready. Hey, Caillou! Hold on, Caillou. I'll come with you. Oh, no! My tree's crooked. All it needs is something to lean on to protect it from the wind. I'll get a steak. Caillou was worried about his tree, and then he got an idea. wanted to find a toy he could leave with the baby tree, so it didn't get lonely during the night.
Even though Caillou loved his red toy car, he decided that his baby tree could share it. I'm going to cover the tree with my blanket so it doesn't get cold. And it can play with my car if it gets lonely. How long will it take for the baby tree to be as big as this one, Daddy? By the time you're grown up, the tree will have grown up too. We'd better get inside. Good night, sleep tight. Good night. Get well, Mr. Hinkle. Caillou loved playing in the living room in the morning because right about this time... Oh, it's the mailman! Good morning! Well, good morning to you too, Caillou. See you tomorrow. Bye, Mr. Mailman. Mommy, look what the mailman brought. Is there anything for me? Not today. Oh, but Mr. Hinkle's hardware catalog got mixed up with our mail by mistake. Want to take it over to him? You mean like a mailman? Can I dress like one too? Yes, of course. Well, hello, Mr. Mailman. You look just like my young friend who lives next door. It's me, Mr. Hinkle. Caillou! I'm delivering this catalog just like the mailman. Thank you. Oh, look, I got the same hardware catalog twice. Would you like one? I know how much you like to cut out the pictures. Thank you, Mr. Hinkle. Mommy, look! Mommy, Mr. Hinkle was still wearing his pajamas. Do grown-ups take naps in the day, too? He could be sick, honey. Remember when Daddy had the flu and we made him a card and some chicken soup? Mommy, could we make chicken soup and a card for Mr. Hinkle? Sure. I bet it'll make him feel a lot better. Look, Mommy. I'm all done. It's beautiful, Caillou. Mommy, can I get some flowers for Mr. Hinkle? Great idea. You could make a nice vase with this. Look, Mommy! It's beautiful, Caillou. All we need now are some flowers from our garden. And a red one, Mommy! Get a red one! Mr. Hinkle is going to be so happy when he gets your card and flowers. Yes! Look what I made for you. All this just for me? Read the card. There's a beautiful bluebird, and underneath it says Mr. Hinkle. That's me. Thank you. This is the best get well card I've ever seen. I'm feeling better already, Caillou. And you know, it's perfect. You put that bluebird on the card. Why? I just finished putting this birdhouse together. Want to come back tomorrow when I'm all better and help me paint it? Okay, Mr. Hinkle. Goodbye. I can't wait to help Mr. Hinkle paint his birdhouse. What? You don't want to be a mailman anymore? <laughs> the Big Boat. Caillou was very excited because today they were going on a sailboat. A boat too. May I borrow your boat? I want to show you something. See? The reason we call it a sailboat is because it has sails. When the wind blows in the sails, it pushes the boat on the water. Me too. <laughs> it's time to go to the marina now. That's Yay! where they keep the boats. You'll need to wear your sneakers. 
They're the best shoes to wear on a boat. Ready to feel the wind blowing in the sails? <laughs> that tickles. Can I bring it, Daddy? You sure can. When Caillou got to the marina, there were lots of boats, but none of them seemed to have sails. Bertie! Where's the sailboat? Hmm, I'll give you a clue. Our friend Helen's sailboat is brown and white. I can find it. Come up here, sailor. You'll have a better view. Oh, you too. Do you see it? Welcome aboard, everyone. I'm glad you could come. The boat rocked a little, and Caillou felt a little unsteady. Mommy, the floor is moving. It's okay, Caillou. It takes a little time to get used to it. Safety first. I have something special for you. We need to wear these life jackets while we're on the boat. I have sneakers, too. Look at that. You're on your way to becoming a true sailor. You know, Helen has a whole house just like ours right here inside her sailboat. Where is it? <laughs> I'll show you. Birdie! We'll stay out a bit. Rosie likes the seagulls. Wow. How did you do that? Oh, there are lots of surprises like this on my boat. I have a kitchen in here, too. Do you think you can find it? Is this the kitchen? <laughs> no, Daddy. This is a bathroom. There you go, Caillou. It's a bed. I can't find the kitchen. I spy what looks like an oven door. Uh-huh. This is my galley. That's what we call a kitchen on a boat. Would you like some grapes? Yes, please. Maybe the others would like some, too. Caillou! Caillou saw something way up on the mast that looked familiar. Mm. Mm. Whee! Look, Daddy! Helen has a pinwheel, too! Just like mine! And just like yours, mine tells me when the wind is blowing. Looks like it's time to go sailing! When we're out of the marina, we could shut the motor off, and the sails will do the work. Almost done. And there. Phew. Let's find the wind, shall we? Here we go! Caillou was excited. Helen had turned the boat, so the wind was moving them fast now. Oh, it's all right, Rosie. Here, Rosie. You can have this. They have a tiller. See the stick the man is holding in the back? It steers just like my wheel. Caillou, would you like to help me steer? Yes! 
You're doing a fine job, Caillou. I think you can be captain for a while. Caillou was very proud to help steer the sailboat. He was having a lot of fun. But the visit was coming to an end. Thanks, Helen. We had a wonderful time. It was fun sailing with you. Come back soon. Here, Caillou, don't forget this. Thank you! Bye-bye! Bye! Caillou couldn't stop thinking about the wind blowing the sails. <sighs> and that evening, he decided to go sailing again. Almost done. Here you go, Rosie. See, Rosie? You have to be the wind. You did it! <laughs> Something for everyone. Caillou, wait for us. We're meeting everyone at 3 o'clock, honey. We've got lots of time. Caillou just couldn't wait. He was excited about playing with all his friends in the park. Huh? This sign says that the park is closed today. Why, Mommy? Oh, they're putting fertilizer on the grass. It makes it grow better. Hi, Clementine. We can't play in the park. It's closed. Oh, no. Everyone was disappointed. Caillou still wanted to play with his friends. Mommy, can everybody come to play at our house, please? Well, the backyard will be pretty crowded. But sure, they could come over. Yay! Race ya! Let's build a sandcastle! Caillou really wanted his special sandcastle bucket. But he knew that when friends come over, you have to share. There's only two shovels. We can take turns. Watch out, Jeffrey. This is no fun. Caillou's friends didn't seem to be having much fun. I'm going to play on the swing. Caillou wanted to keep working on the castle. Can I go on the swing now? No. We didn't get to play in the sandbox. We have to take turns. It's no fair. We just got on it. <sighs> Mommy, I want everybody to go home now. What's the matter? Aren't you having a good time? Uh-uh. They don't want to take turns on the swing. How about if you think of a game that everyone can play together? Caillou knew a game that everyone would like. Do you want to play Frozen Tag? Okay. Yeah. Sure. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato more. <laughs> Caillou was happy that all his friends were having fun together. <laughs> You guys might need a little snack. Yum. Thank you. When you're finished, it'll be time to go home. No! Mommy, we want to play some more. Tomorrow the park will be open again. You'll see each other there. Yay! Skating lessons. My daddy and I made it. Why do you have your skates? Your mom is giving me a ride to my figure skating lesson. <laughs> you can't skate in the summer. Caillou, would you like to come along for the ride? Yeah! 
Hold on, Caillou. You better put this on. It's cool where we're going. Caillou's mommy was right. Even though it was warm outside, inside it was cool and frosty. Ooh! Mommy, it's like winter inside. I'll see you guys on the ring. Why are they wearing ice skates indoors, Mommy? Because this is a skating arena. People can skate here all year long. Does the ice melt in the summer? No, this is special indoor ice. Come, I'll show you. Caillou was amazed. He had only seen ice outside in the winter. Caillou, why don't you come out and skate with me after my lesson? I only skated once before. They have lessons here. You can learn all sorts of neat stuff. Watch! Wow! I'll see you after class, okay? Mommy, could I skate like Sarah if I took lessons? Of course. Would you like to come back for a class? Yes, please! A few days later, Caillou was ready for his first skating lesson. Hello. You must be Caillou. I'm George, your skating instructor. Hello. I already know how to skate. That's great. We're gonna have lots of fun then. Don't forget your helmet. Okay. All right, who wants to learn how to skate? Me too. Then come out here with me. Are you coming, Mommy? I don't have my skates, but I'll be right here the whole time. You know, learning to skate is a little like learning to walk. And sometimes... <laughs> you fell down! Sometimes I do. But that's okay, because I get right back up. Okay, I want you all to kneel like me. You just lift one foot, push up, and bring up the other foot. It's easy, see? Beautiful. You're learning already. The next part is easy. We just walk between the cones and back to the carpet. Caillou, would you like to be first? I learned to skate with a chair. You won't need one. You'll see. Just walk over to me. Whoa! <laughs> That's all right. Now get up, like I showed you. Great job, Caillou. Now everyone. <laughs> and now back to the carpet. You too, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou was getting discouraged. Skating was harder than he expected. That's all right, Caillou. You'll get the hang of it. Let's practice some more, okay? How did you like your first lesson, Caillou? My pants are wet from falling so much. <laughs> yes, but you took the first steps to learning how to skate today. And that deserves a special sticker for your helmet. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Mommy, how come I'm not as good as Sarah? Oh, it takes practice, sweetie. I'm sure it took Sarah a few lessons to get as good as she is now. I don't want to come back tomorrow. Don't be discouraged. This was only your first lesson. Things will get better. You'll see. Wow! Look at the truck, Mommy! It's driving on the ice! It's called a Zamboni. See the water it leaves behind? It's making a fresh new layer of ice. What happened to your plane, Caillou? It's not a plane. It's a Zamboni. I'm making ice. Beep, beep. <laughs> you better park it for now. We'll be late for your skating lesson. Do I have to? How about you give it another try? If you still don't like it, 
Then you don't have to go. We could stay to watch the Zamboni afterwards. The Zamboni? Yahoo! Hello, Caillou. I'm glad you came back today. Raphael is new. Maybe you can help her catch up. Uh, don't worry. I fall all the time, too. But I know how to get up. Ready? I can tell you'll make a very good teacher, Caillou. Come on, we have some new games today. <laughs> That's it for today, everybody. You all did an excellent job. See you tomorrow. Bye, George! Caillou had so much fun at his second lesson. He didn't ever want to leave. Do we have to go, Mommy? We'll be back tomorrow, Caillou. Besides, there's someone I want you to meet. Caillou, this is Henry. He drives the Zamboni. Hi, Caillou. Your mom told me how much you like the Zamboni. Would you like to ride it with me? Can I really? Caillou thought that riding the Zamboni was almost as much fun as learning to skate. There was only one other thing that he wanted to do. Caillou becomes a waiter. Look! I made a picture of Julie. That's great, Caillou. Caillou was excited because Julie was coming over to babysit. Where are you and Daddy going? We're going to eat in a restaurant. Can I come? Not this time, Caillou. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Julie. Look, I made you this. Thank you, Caillou. It's beautiful. There's a casserole in the oven, Julie. We should be home in about three hours. I want to go. I like restaurants. You're going to have a wonderful time with Julie, Caillou. And Mommy made your favorite, macaroni. No, I'm not going to have a good time. Bye, Rosie. Bye, Caillou. Bye. Bye, Caillou. You want to help me prepare dinner, Caillou? OK. I want to eat in a restaurant. Can you play? Yes, I have an idea, yes. Caillou. Why don't we make our own restaurant? Okay, Rosie too. <laughs> Caillou was having a wonderful time. He was making a menu and a waiter's bow tie. I wonder what's keeping our waiter. Me too. Here I am. Hmm, it all looks very yummy. But this looks really good. That will be four pennies, please. Choose macaroni. Four pennies, please. No. Okay, one penny. <laughs> Can I be the waiter now, Caillou? Okay. And what would you like to eat, sir? Macaroni's my favorite. Macaroni it is. That will be four pennies, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any money. If you can't pay for your meal, you have to do the dishes. But I guess we could make an exception. No, I want to do the dishes. All this work was making Caillou hungry. I'm glad I didn't go to Mommy and Daddy's restaurant. I like ours better. Sticking to it. Caillou 
was looking everywhere for one of his favorite toys. Sorry, Caillou, I haven't seen it. Maybe if you cleaned up your room, you'd be able to find what you're looking for. I'm sure you'll find your tractor once you finish cleaning up. Okay. <laughs> some clothes. I bet you could use your tractor to pick up those clothes. Then maybe you wouldn't step on any of your toys again. Yeah, I guess so. I have an idea that might make helping out around the house fun. You do? First we have to make a chart and then some stickers. Can I color them? Sure. I'm going to get my crayons. Every time you help with something around the house, you get to pick out a sticker. Like this sticker. Sticky! Caillou was happy with the stickers he helped Mommy make. He couldn't wait to pick out his first one. I'm finished! Mommy, see? Uh-oh. I'll clean it, Mommy. Ha! <laughs> no, Rosie! Very good. I think you just earned your first sticker. I'll take this one. Now let's see. Oh, look. Brushing teeth is on the chart. Like this? Very good. That's another sticker. I want next, Mommy. It's the biggest one. Hmm. I think it's going to take something special for that one. Can you think of something special? I can't think of anything special, Mommy. You know, picking up things like clothes is special. Can you think of somewhere to pick up lots of clothes? Hmm. My room! Rosie, see, Mommy, I clean my room all by myself. Rosie, too. This is worth a special sticker. I like helping, Mommy. New clothes. Look, Mommy, I'm making my milk dizzy. <laughs> okay, goodbye. That was Grandma and Grandpa. And guess what? We're going to their anniversary party tonight. Party? Yay! Cake and presents! Let's go now, Daddy! <laughs> Hang on. We have the whole day ahead of us. Besides, you're not even dressed yet. <laughs> Mommy, can you help me get dressed? I think maybe you're big enough to get yourself dressed today. I am? It's simple. Just choose some underwear, socks, a shirt, and some pants. Caillou decided to pick his monkey shirt, but he liked the red one Grandma gave him, too. Caillou was having so much fun picking his favorite clothes, he forgot to get dressed at all. Are you almost ready to go play outside? dressed all by myself. <laughs> you sure did. Now, let's see. Two shirts? Great job, but don't you think you might be a little cold playing outside in shorts? Maybe I'm wrong. Why don't we check outside and see? It's warm. It's... Ugh. Daddy, can I wear something else? You sure can. What happened in here? A tornado? 
Why don't you pick out some long pants and a sweatshirt, okay? They're sure to be a bit warmer. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. How are you? Where's Caillou? <laughs> Here I am. Well done. But I think you may have put your pants on backwards. That's how I like them. <laughs> All right. Let's clean up some of these clothes, okay? Later that evening, it was time for Caillou to get dressed into some nicer clothes. How about wearing this? It's very nice. Caillou listened to Mommy's suggestion, but he wanted to dress himself. No, I want to wear this. Okay. Hi, Caillou. Don't you look handsome? And we heard you got dressed all by yourself. Caillou noticed Daddy and Grandpa looked really nice in their fancy party suits. Suddenly, he wasn't so sure about his own clothes. Daddy, can I change my clothes again? Sure. That's the best part about being old enough to dress yourself. Grandpa, can you fix my tie too? shows me how to do lots of neat stuff. We like skating, except it's not that easy at first. Wow! And sometimes Daddy acts silly. <laughs> but he always knows how to take care of us. When I grow up, I want to be just like my Daddy. Where I live. Look, Daddy. That's our family. Wow. I'll help you. Hmm. I could use a driver. Are you interested? Yes. Okay, Mr. Driver. Point the way to the flowers so I can drop off this dirt. No brakes! Hi, Caillou. Come over. I have something to show you. Daddy, can I go? You sure can. It's a letter for you. It says Caillou, right there. There's a mistake in the number of the address. It says 15 Pine Street. That's my number. What's your number? Caillou knew there were numbers on his house, too, but he didn't remember what they were. Uh, let's go see. Uh, one and seven. That's 17. Look, I have a letter. Wow. Hmm. Mailed to 15 Pine Street. That's my address. At 15, it feels like a dream. <laughs> I made it up so I'd remember. <laughs> That's a good idea, Sarah. Caillou, do you know what our address is? Uh-uh. 17 Pine Street. Hey, how about we make our own rhyme? Uh, Jelly Bean, 17. I am fine. I live on pine. My family's fine. The sun likes to shine. Come here and see us at 17 Pine. <laughs> Write 17 on your house. There, 17. I better go back home now. We're supposed to go to the store soon. Bye. Jelly Bean 17. I am fine. I live on pine. Aye. <laughs> 17. I'm very impressed. What's this? <gasps> to Caillou. Let's see. Isn't this pretty? It reads, you are invited to my party, Saturday at 1. And it's from Clementine. Yay! A party! I want to go! Let's call her to let her know you'll be there. You can also tell her your correct address. Okay, sweetie. It's Clementine's mom. You can tell her our address. Hi. Uh, Jelly Bean 17... Um... 
I am fine. I live on pine. I live at 17 pine. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, please. Hi, Clementine. I'm coming to your party. A good friend. Are you ready to go? Leo will be here any minute. Yes. Oops. Caillou was going to the park with Mommy and Leo, and he wanted to take all his favorite toys with him. You can't take all those. How about you pick one or two? Why don't you leave your dinosaur? You don't want it to get dirty in the park. Okay. Dino's my new friend. I like Dino, too. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Okay. Bye. Try this. Boom, boom. <laughs> Let's go there. I can run fast. I can run faster. <laughs> that was fun. Let's climb to the top. Get going. Okay. Ready? Go. <laughs> Caillou had such a good time at the park with Leo. He wanted to see him again. You want to play tomorrow? Okay. Your Auntie Joan is coming tomorrow morning. But I want to play with Caillou. You could bring Leo tomorrow afternoon if you want. All right. Hooray! Bye! And we played in the sandbox and on the jungle gym. Sounds like you had a really good time. Hello? Oh, hi. Really? I'll have a look around. Bye. That was Leo's mommy. Leo lost his toy dinosaur. No! Why don't you have a look to see if it's with your toys? It's not here! Caillou knew how much Leo liked his new dinosaur. He must have left it somewhere. I know! He left his dinosaur at the park! I know where it is! Can we go get it? Hmm, it's gonna be dark soon. Leo's gonna have to get Dino tomorrow. Dino's going to be scared all alone in the dark. Well, I guess we could walk over to the park after dinner. Yay! Yay! <laughs> it's not here, Daddy. Where else did you play? There and there. I don't see it. We better get home. It's getting dark. It looks like we're going to get some rain. Caillou was glad his dinosaur, Rexy, was safe. But he was worried about Leo's dinosaur. Dino's going to get all wet. Maybe someone put him in a nice, safe place. I bet Leo's really sad. You know what we'll do? Tomorrow, when you get up, we'll make a lost poster and hang it up in the park. That made Caillou feel a lot better. The poster was sure to help find Dino. Good night. Sweet dreams. The next day, Caillou made a poster to hang up in the park. Rosie, 
too. Sticky! There. You did a good job on your poster. Now, if someone has seen Dino, they can call Leo's house or ours. <laughs> Hello there. Can I help you? Leo lost his dinosaur. He did. Did you find it? No, but there's a lost and found department at the park office. You might find it there. Lost and found? What's that? If someone finds something and they don't know who owns it, they can leave it at the lost and found department. And if you lost something, you know where to go to see if someone found it. Can we go, Mommy? Sure. and found, but he was upset that he hadn't found Leo's dinosaur. We have to go home and have lunch. Leo is coming this afternoon. What about Dino? It doesn't look like he's here. We'll just have to keep looking for him. I found him! Look, Mommy, I found Dino! Caillou was really happy he found Dino. for finding Dino. I didn't find him. Caillou did. You're my best, best friend, Caillou. Thanks. Let's play inside. I don't think Dino wants to be lost anymore. Just like me. It was a beautiful summer day and Caillou was playing in the park with Rosie. Caillou! Look, no more training wheels. Wow! Billy taught me. I like having a big brother. He teaches me lots of things. I teach Rosie lots, too. Like what? Um... Caillou tried to think what he had taught Rosie, but he couldn't remember. Time to get going! Caillou, come get your toys. Gotta go. Bye, Clementine. I'll close it. I'm her big brother. You certainly are. Caillou wanted to teach Rosie something, just like Billy had taught Clementine. Want to learn how to ride my bike, Rosie? Yay! <laughs> okay, now push the pedals. What are you doing, Caillou? Billy showed Clementine how to ride her bike. I want to show Rosie. There are some things Rosie's too young for right now. Just like you used to be when you were her age. Juju! No, Rosie, don't take it apart. Watch, Rosie. I'll show you. You put it together like this. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Caillou was very excited he taught Rosie to put the train track together. He wanted to show Mommy. Look, Mommy. Come see. Okay. <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> I guess Rosie's not old enough to put the train set together. Come on, you two. Lunch is ready. Why don't you show Rosie how to eat spaghetti? Rosie, watch. You take the fork and put the spaghetti like this. <laughs> Paschetti! I guess I'm not a very good big brother. I can't teach her anything. That's not true. She watches everything you do and copies it. That's one of the ways she learns. Really? Sure. I know something you can teach her. How about that song we used to sing before bed? A, B, C, D. Oh! 
called the ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, F, G, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. She did it. <laughs> you can't stop there. There's still the rest of the alphabet to go. A, B, C, D, E, <laughs> Just in time. Wake up, Caillou. It's time for breakfast. No dawdling this morning. We don't have much time before we meet Leo at the park. Uh, okay. Thank you, Caillou. Caillou thought about getting some breakfast. But when he saw his toy car, he couldn't help but stop and play with it. It's about time. Rosie's already finished her breakfast. Car, car! Not now, Rosie. I have to eat breakfast. You'd better hurry. You still have to get changed and brush your teeth. was having such a good time playing with his car, he forgot about brushing his teeth. Caillou, you're still not ready? Uh-oh. Hmm. Caillou was taking a long time deciding which shirt to wear. Caillou, we're ready to go. Caillou was finding all sorts of interesting things on the way to the playground. A caterpillar! It's very pretty, but we should keep going. It's not polite to keep Leo and his mommy waiting. There he is! Caillou wondered why Leo was leaving the playground. Hello! We waited for you as long as we could, but we have to get going now. Oh, sorry we're so late. Bye, Caillou. Maybe we can play later. Bye. Bye. It took so long for you to get ready, and now we hardly have any time left to play. Caillou was disappointed that he couldn't play with Leo. Almost ready for your bedtime story? Can you read me three bedtime stories, Daddy? I don't know if he can. Remember what happened today when we ran out of time? It depends how long you take getting ready. I know. How about we make it a game? When I turn this timer upside down, you've got five minutes to get ready for bed before all the sand gets to the bottom. On your mark, get set, go! Caillou really wanted Daddy to read three stories. I did it! I went fast, Daddy! <laughs> you sure did, Caillou. That deserves three bedtime stories. Caillou was very happy that he got ready on time. I like that game, Daddy. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Caillou. And he used to take a lot of time to do things. Mr. Fixit. Caillou liked laundry day. The whole house smelled nice. Daddy, Gilbert is helping you fold the laundry. <laughs> Gilbert, silly cat. That's no place for you. I know I put two socks in the washer. Now, where did the other one go? Huh? Ooh. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. Mommy, we're washing the clothes and the basement. Well, I think I better call someone to fix it before we wash the whole house. Why don't we call the man who fixed the dryer last year? The next day, someone knocked at the door. Hi, Bob, isn't it? Yes, good to see you again. And Caillou, isn't it? Do you remember me? 
I'm Bob, and I'm here to fix your washing machine. It's not my machine. It's my mommy and daddy's. But I know where it is. It was fine until yesterday. Come on, Caillou. We'll let Bob work in peace. Oh, that's all right. I can use the help. I have my own tools. I'll be right back. How to fix things too. These are very nice tools. Oh, I like this one. It's called a wrench. Do you know what it's for? Uh huh. No. It's for tightening things. Here, hop up here on this chair and I'll show you. You fit the wrench onto this bolt and turn it like this. That tightens it. Do you want to give it a try? Uh. Good job. See, now we tighten this all the way. Put the cap on, and we're done. It sounds much better now. I helped fix it, Daddy. He sure did. Ah, I found this wrapped around the stem. Aha, uh -huh, my missing sock. Daddy, can I fix something for you? Sure, I could use a hand hammering this nail into the wall. Okay. Now hit that nail with the hammer. Not too hard. Good job. Mommy, I helped that man fix the washing machine. And I helped Daddy, too. Thank you, Caillou. That's very wobbly. But I bet you could help Daddy fix it. There, that should make it stable. And now for the most important part, the glue. Do you want to do it, Caillou? What's my little handyman doing? Is it fixed, Caillou? Yes, it is! And this time, Daddy helped me. Rosie! She's my baby sister, and I love her. We play games together a lot. And we have fun. I get to show her things I like. And sometimes I help take care of her. Because I'm her big brother. <laughs>